So I've been studying cancer chemo prevention for at least two decades. Our laboratory is focused on chemo prevention. And about five years ago, we started to take more of a whole food approach towards, towards prevention, starting with some studies with black raspberries and ulcerative colitis. And several years ago, we came upon the concept of, of whole nuts and particularly walnuts. And as we started to delve into it, and I started to look at some of the epidemiological associations of walnuts with cancer, it became rather interesting and intriguing to start thinking about how to design studies to get at a more mechanistic angle to what walnuts are doing in terms of cancer prevention. Walnuts are loaded with constituents that have potent anti-cancer properties like gamma tocopherol, ALA, fiber, as well as polyphenols, and a, a very interesting molecule, molecule, ellagic acid. And in fact, uh, I, the ellagic acid, which is converted to urolithins in the gut, actually has, uh, is very intriguing in terms of chemopreventive potential. We started about a year ago where we're feeding walnuts to or some of our mouse models to look at the effects of walnuts on the development of colon cancer and primary tumor models. And we've already started to develop some very intriguing results and some very intriguing data in terms of the chemoprotective benefit of consumption of walnuts. If we're looking at the effects of walnuts on the microbiome as well as on metabolomic changes within the gut of mice that are consuming uh, large amounts of walnuts in their diet. So we're taking a number of different approaches to understand how walnuts are actually impeding both the initiation and, and progression of colon cancer in our animal models. Uh, the, the influence of the microbiome on diseases such as cancer, diabetes, obesity, are becoming very, very evident with a large number of publications over the last five to 10 years. So we've been collaborating with a group at the Jackson Laboratories to actually look at the microbiome of mice that are consuming walnuts. And using something called 16S shotgun sequencing, we're actually characterizing the entire composition of the gut microflora in the presence or absence of walnuts. And we've already started to see that walnuts are having a beneficial effect on the bacterial flora within the gut. We're focusing now, we're, we're, we're using our new data to, to zero in on, on some of the particular bacterial species that may actually contribute to the anti-cancer properties of walnuts.